Hello guys, my name is Ronald. I teach ICT and computer studies. Today I'm going to show you how you can insert a watermark on only one page. Many times you have inserted watermarks, but you discover that when you insert it on one page, it appears on all other pages. You will also discover, or take note of the following, that even a footer, a header, page border, a page color, they all appear on all other pages if you insert it on one page in your document. So we are going to see how can you customize, how can you make a watermark or appear on only one page. So when you look at my desktop here, there is a file called the watermark. So let us open this document. It is a document containing only one page. I'm going to insert four other pages say insert blanga page one two three four so at the end i have five pages let me try to duplicate this work to appear on all other pages the one i've just inserted huh yes i will also i got the third one paste i got the fourth one paste then lastly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this one was missing this one we skipped first. So those, you can see that I have five pages and uh, they all have the same information. Let me put their page numbers. Say, go, put page number at the bottom. Huh? So, so that the pages are labeled. We can easily identify which page do we want. Huh? You put page numbers at the bottom and go. Ah, blah, that is enough. So, we have inserted page numbers. So, yet we want to insert a watermark on only one page. What are we supposed to do? A watermark is a feature that affects all other pages. When you insert it on one page, I've said that even a footer, even a page, a page border, a page color, they will all appear on one page. Let us first insert a watermark as usual. We are going to insert it on which page? This page called page three. I'm going to go under watermark. I choose custom watermark. So I say text watermark. I date the word as up. And I'm going to put here the word page. Let us call it page three. I'll go here. I can change the color and put it to red. And say also, yes, it is the name, and I can give it, let it become here. Yeah. Start. Okay. So, after inserting this watermark, it appears on all other pages. So, we want it to be only on this page, this page called page four. But how can you do that? When you look at these pages, they are linked to one another in the header sections. What you have to do is to disconnect the headers sections from one page. If we do that, we are going to make a page appear as a section in the document. If a page becomes a section, a section is an independent page in the document. If it is an independent page or if it is a section, that means that each and every information you add on that page it will not appear on all other pages in the document. It is independent. So whatever is applied to this page will not appear on all other pages. To make a, a, a page, to make a particular page, a section in the document, you need to use section breaks. It is only section breaks that can make a page, a section, appear as a section. And if it is a section, it is an independent page. What, what are we supposed to do? We are going to use section breaks. So we are supposed to put the cursor, this page three. We want only this page. The watermark to appear on only this page. So you are going to put the cursor where the page starts. But you have to backspace to check whether that page starts that exactly on that page. You can backspace to check. Uh -huh. If the cursor is there, put it, check, backspace, you can backspace and go to the next page, which is page two, to see whether that it really starts from there. 
So you are going to go, click page layout, and click black, say next page. And if you click the word next page, the work should not go on the next page. So we also have to go on page for now, the next page. And we do the same thing where the page ends. So we shall press enter. Uh -huh. Backspace to check whether the page ends there. So put the cursor where this page ends. At the last, uh, the first stage, we are putting it where it was beginning. Now we are, we are putting the cursor where this page ends. So we shall also do the same thing and say next page. Now the cursor will go on the next page. However, the work on the next page should not move away. If the work moves away, that means there was the, the, that was not the, the end of that page. So you should take note of that one. The, the work on the next page should not move away, only the cursor. So we are done. What are we supposed to do? We have to activate the headers and footers. Let us double click here to activate the headers and footers. So we are going to select the word same as previous on page three and say link it and the word will disappear, same one. Now that the, this section is not the same as that one. We shall also go now on page four and we also say link it to the previous. So it disappears. You can see now page four. Yes, there is no that word same as previous. So we can now select the watermarks. Just point and click. They can allow you to select them. Place it right on your keyboard. The watermark is going to disappear. Scroll and go up on page two also. Select the watermark and place. Delete. The watermark is going to disappear. So you can close the headers and section. You can see now that our watermark is only on the third page. So basically, that's how we can add a watermark on only one page or on a custom page. Something very challenging, but you just need to understand how to use sections. I hope you found this uh, video very uh, interesting and useful to you. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video. I'm Ronald Wichams. I, I, I teach ICT and computer studies. So now our watermark is only on this page. If I zoom here, you are going to see what happens. There are five pages, but it is appearing on only the third page you want. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you find it very useful to you lessons and the classes. I'm Ronald Vichamzi of Computer Studies and I also thank the Computer uh, ICT Teachers Association for sponsoring me to make this video. Thank you very much.